Yesterday, we had seen the release of Google's new Gemini 2.5 Pro model, which is Google's most intelligent AI model ever. Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental is a state-of-the-art thinking model that leads in wide ranges of benchmarks with impressive improvements in enhanced reasoning and coding. It's capable of outperforming OpenAI's O3 Mini, Hi, which is insane, OpenAI GPT 4.5, Claude 3.7 Sonnet on various benchmarks, not in coding though, which is surprising, but overall we can see that it is outcompeting many of these state-of-the-art models in almost every benchmark from math all the way to science and to reasoning but in certain cases like coding it's slightly behind but due to its cost efficiency it definitely makes it a great alternative to Claude 3.7 sonnet just take a look at this demo which showcases gemini 2.5 pro's coding capabilities you might think that it's not better than Claude 3.7 Sonnet, but it still has great performance in terms of coding. In this case, it was able to generate an entire playable game from a single line prompt, which showcases its advanced reasoning and coding capabilities. In this case, we're in a web editor and we have pasted in the code and you can see the Pixel Dino Runner game, which was fully generated with this model. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And today, what we're going to be doing is showcasing how you can use the Gemini 2.5 Pro's capabilities in terms of AI-assisted coding to make app development even better with this fully free application that I'll be showcasing that is called Instant Coder. It is something that will allow you to use the Gemini 2.5 Pro for free as well as letting you run it locally, which is just insane. And this is where you can easily build apps in seconds with a single prompt. This is an application that was built by Omar who used the source code from the original Llama coder and he was capable of building instant coder based off of it. This application is hosted on Hugging Face Spaces so you can actually take a look at it and start generating anything where you can simply prototype quite quickly within this demo. So in this case, I requested it to build me an e-com website dummy site and you can see it's going to slowly go ahead and start generating the code for it and we're going to be able to visualize it within this right hand panel. And there we go. We have our first iteration of this e-commerce site. You can then actually open this up within the sandbox and then you can actually get the source code over here in which you can actually download and then get a better visualization of it within the sandbox. Next up, I'm going to have it create a chatbot that is functional and with a modern sleek design. And there we go. We have our chat assistant, our chatbot fully developed in terms of the front end for it and you can see how quick it was this is actually one of the main capabilities of this model it's great with agentic work as well as quite proficient in generating code quickly and it's something that also is capable of generating things at a cheap price which is why many people would want to use this over many of the other models that are out there and another reason why you would want to use this is thanks to its 1 million context window which means that the amount of tokens it uses as well as the context it has is going to be way better than many of the other models we use such as Cloud 3.7 Sonnet or even DeepSeek version 3. Now what I've noticed is that this model does a great job in generating HTML code and this is where I'm requesting it to generate an HTML file that displays a colorful particle simulation of a reflection nebula. So let's see what it ends up building for us in terms of this animation within HTML. So it looks like it has generated the main page, but we're going to actually open this up in the sandbox to get a better visualization. Okay, so I finally got it to work and there we go. We have a reflection nebula simulation and it does seem to work. So this is great to see. Next up, we're going to generate an animation within P5GS, which is a simulation of 30 colorful voids swarming within a rotating hexagon. Now, I'm going to actually have to export this code because I don't think it's going to be visualized within the sandbox. So I'll take the code and showcase what it has generated. So I've gone along and I've copied the code and pasted it into this editor which showcases P5 code and you can see it has generated this animation within this hexagon which is really nice. So I'm kind of surprised to see that it was capable of doing this. 
Next up, I'm having it create me a color app that is a practical app that lets you pick colors, generate random colors, and copy the hex codes. So there we go. We have the ability to copy the hex codes. We can actually pick a random color and then you can generate one. This is obviously a really simple app, but you can see how fast it was capable of generating this. Next, I'm going to have it create a finance tracking app that is able to let me track my stocks and then I can visualize the performance of it. So I'm telling it to make it look, I wrote sleep, but I meant to write sleek and modern. So let's see what it ends up generating. And there we go. We have our basic app that was generated that came with the chart as well as a couple of stocks. And then you can go ahead and add in your stock like Tesla. And then you can click add and you can see that it will then add that stock for you. And if you are to click on it, you can then visualize that stock. This was a simple app that was generated quite quickly. And you can see where this can become quite helpful. You can use the expertise of this model's uh, thinking as well as its cost efficiency to generate easy prototypes for you, like the base structure of your app that you can then work on and iterate further afterwards by simply going over to the sandbox and then copying and downloading the code. Now for the next segment of the video, we're going to be showcasing how you can locally install this. But before we even do that, we're going to need to make sure that we have the prerequisites fulfilled. Make sure that you have Git installed. This is to clone the repository onto our computer. Make sure you have VS Code installed to edit the environment variables. NPM to install the dependencies and a Gemini developer API that you can easily go over to this link, which I'll leave in the description below and click on get a Gemini API key. Then you can head back to the GitHub repository for instance coder and I want you to copy the git clone command to clone this repository onto your computer so then go ahead and open up your command prompt search it up and open it up and then paste in the command to clone the repo and then click enter it will then clone the repo but now what you're going to need to do is head over to the instant coder directory so go and type in cd gem coder and click enter next you're going to need to configure the env file so go over to this environment file by opening up vs code once you have opened up the folder you want to right click on this left hand panel and click on new file and simply name it dot env for your environment variable and click on this and what you're going to need to do is go back to the repo and copy the command to paste in your api key so google underscore ai underscore api underscore key equals your actual api key so you can then paste in your key afterwards and once you have pasted in simply go ahead and click on file click save and then you can close vs code after you have set your key copy the npm install command to install all the dependencies of gem coder or instant coder and you can paste this into your command prompt this will start installing everything that is necessary and while this is installing you can go ahead and copy the npm run dev command to then run this locally and to start it up so go ahead and paste this in and then you're going to be able to start accessing instant coder within this local host port 3000 so go into your browser and then paste in this link and soon you're going to be able to access it it's going to take some time it's going to compile and then you will be able to access the gemini coder over here and guys it works way better locally because it uses uh your own api rather than the hugging face api which is a bit slower i requested it to create calculator and you can see that it was able to generate it really really quickly so if you're going to be using this locally it's basically going to be free because of how uh cheap this uh, pricing structure is for this Gemini 2.5 Pro model and you can see that you can generate things quite quickly locally in this case with this calculator. If you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content plus a lot more. But with that thought guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on the new Gemini Coder. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Definitely recommend that you take a look at this because this will easily help you prototype and build apps quite quickly. Make sure you take a look at the newsletter, follow me on the Patreon, make sure you follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and if you haven't already make sure you take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas